There's also another human dimension that makes me sad to be here. I, I am very fond of many of the people whom I work with in the SNP, good people like Anne Horn, who's the councillor who is responsible for, for these matters. I believe they are good and caring people. But somehow we've got ourselves into a terrible difficulty. And we need to get ourselves out of that terrible difficulty. And we need to do it fast. I'm also very sorry that Michael has uh, felt it necessary to resign. I think he indicated there, but probably not in the detail we went through. I worked very hard to stop that happening. And I would like Michael to be a member of the SNP and working with me in the SNP today. And I hope he will be back in that sense. And he'll be very much missed in the job he did in education, putting my very, just for a brief moment on my hat, on his cabinet secretary for education, Michael Worthy, very finely in cancer and education, and he is needed. But all that having been said, we are where we are. How do we get out of this position? And I think we can get out of that this position without too much difficulty, because I think there is a clear way out of this difficulty. And that actually lies in the motion that was passed by the council on the 14th of February. It was a, a, a version of the motion that I, was, uh, I saw and was involved in, in altering some of the drafting. Because the motion is not tied to a time scale. It is not tied to a closure. It is, in my view, quite clearly a motion that says, this may happen, but now let's seek every possible alternative to stop it happening. And that's where we presently are. And the, those alternatives lie in four areas. Firstly, we need to look at the facts. There is huge variety about the facts we've heard tonight. Eerily reminiscent of the school closures uh, uh, attempts some years ago. Dubiety about the actual figures, dubiety about the capacity, dubiety about the processes, dubiety about quality. We need to look at all those things. Those facts aren't there. So the first thing that needs to be done is those facts need to be obtained. Secondly, there needs to be a consultation. I've heard this word several times in the last month. I see no sign of it. I've seen no consultation document. I've seen no arguments put. I don't think anybody in this hall has seen a consultation proposal. So let's see if there is a reason for this. Let's see the consultation document. Because we need to know those facts and we need to know the arguments. We then need to know the alternatives. Because we need to talk about the alternatives. And one of the alternatives is something that the staff started down the road of some years ago which is a social enterprise model or another type of business model to deliver this, perhaps, as Dick says, with a, a larger number of people. And I know a couple of years ago there was a feeling that staff didn't get a fair hearing on that matter. They essentially were marched up the hill and then the council let them down. Well, here's the opportunity. Because there is in this town business skills are plenty. There is a passion to do this in the community, which has already rallied around with fundraising, but to rally around and develop that alternative model then it should be looked at as an alternative. And the final thing to add to facts, consultation, and alternatives is time. There is nothing in that resolution passed by the Council <coughs> that ties the Council to the decision in a period of time. So <coughs> I think it's very helpful, even tonight, to people from the Council here, that they said, let's spend some time on this. Let's step back from this and say, Let's find and let's present the facts, the consultation, and the alternatives. And that could be done very quickly indeed. And that's my personal appeal tonight. You know, that is possible today, because that will produce the alternatives and the facts that allow Stone Lodge to stay open. I think it's very obvious in this community of Dunoon that the community overwhelming, vastly overwhelming, wants it to stay open, wants it to operate effectively, admires, respects, but loves the staff who are there, and wants its old people to be properly cared for. That's not too much to ask in our society. And therefore, if we do this properly, if the council does this properly, then we can move from something that makes us all sad, sorry, and angry, into something that might make us proud, that in a moment of difficulty, we found a way forward together. I'm like Dick, I'm eye hoping that government at every level can work together. This has produced a unanimity amongst the six councillors and the two elected members of parliament that I have not seen in my two years as an MSP. That might be good for the community in the longer run. 
But I'm just asking tonight, as we have this discussion, please, can the Council consider the facts, the consultation, the alternatives, and the time? And if we put those things together, we can and we will save so much.